Okay, now we move to the other term that we need to refresh our memory about the afterload. Afterload is how much work our heart or ventricle needs to do to squeeze and to eject the blood out. And to review this quickly, this is our heart with RV and LV, and this is the pericardial space. At equilibrium, usually the ventricular pressure is equivalent to pericardial pressure plus the transcardiac pressure, if I can say. Uh, let's call it TP. Basically, this TP is simply the remember transpulmonary pressure equal to ventricular pressure minus pericardial pressure. So basically here these are inward force this squeezing squeezing forces for both ventricle and this is expanding force so they are in balance now in mechanical ventilation as we said there is intrathoracic pressure uh, increase in the intrathoracic pressure as we said the positive pressure ventilation breath transmitted through the trachea to the uh, bronchi to the lungs and to the intra uh, to the pleural space and then to the intrathoracic space at the end this will lead to increase of the pericardial pressure this will be transmitted here and this will lead to increase in this pressure simply because the because the pericardium is in the thorax so that will lead the intra increase in pericardial pressure how that affect the afterload so this is the transmural pressure here so basically to keep this balance the ventricles has to achieve or produce a wall stress to produce this transmural pressure basically this is the afterload let me give you an example to make it clear if i needed 100 millimeter hg and so this is let's say equal to two of the pericardial pressure plus the ventricle needed 98 of transmural pressure or wall stress or if i can say afterload here to balance this equation now when there is positive pressure ventilation and there is increase in the pericardial pressure this let's say will go to five okay now the ventricle to balance this needed to produce a wall stress or pressure or transmural pressure of what of 95 so the ventricle need to do work to produce this transmural pressure of 95 only compared here to produce 98 so that means and we talk about here left ventricle mainly i forgot to mention this this is for left ventricle me mainly that means it decrease positive pressure ventilation decrease lv after load i'll continue next video